It's interesting. We, we, we talk of Lambert, Holder a lot. But those two in the middle, Kubera, Lebedev, riding well at the moment. They are indeed. Green lights on. Tapes are up. They roar into the first corner. Here comes Holder from the outside. Fabulous stuff from him. Kubera's up the inside with Lambert now. Back in third. Lambert responds beautifully round the outside of Kubera. He slips into second place. All sorts of trouble for Lebedev's there. Very nearly ran into sorts of problems. So look at Lambert. Lambert coming up the inside. Oh, fabulous. Now Holder in place. A compliment there. Handle well to handle well to the back straight. Lambert now himself back to the front very close indeed on the opening lap and a half i tell you what that move between holder and lambert really messed kubera up had almost put the brakes on at the end of the straight almost disappeared oh, the the oh, oh. look at these two leaning on each other I tell you what holder's done a great job there robert lambert riding superbly but holder's come back at him Real tense stuff out in front. Lambert hasn't thrown the towel and he's trying up the inside again. Hold around the outside. Heat number two, absolutely the far worst going off here. Fabulous speedway. It's only the second race of the night, people. What a race that was. Jack Holder and Robert Lambert going at it there. Smashing looking lineup here. Riders in top form. Yeah. Heat number three. Yanoski Beauty chose to go off the outside. See if it works. Here we go then, Sapes are up, smash and reaction on the inside from Freddie Lingwin, he fires himself to the front, Matt Yanovsky coming hard around the outside, Bewley actually had to come out of the throttle, look at Yanovsky up the inside, that is sweet as you like, can Lingwin respond now back round the outside, but the hometown favourite, neck and neck with Freddie Lingwin, Lingwin who's in fine form as well, Yanovsky forcing him wide, Freddie Lingwin won't be denied, now Bewley coming up the inside as well, another Speedway race here. Freddie Lingren riding out of his skin of late. Oh, Janowski nearly lifting and running in the back of the Swedish rider. Just avoids a dramatic moment there in the final lap. The chance to the line. Lingren comes through in flying colours. Another brilliant race. Crowd on their feet. Here we go then. Heat number eight. Fabulous looking lineup. Green lights on. Tapes are up. Away we go. It's an even break. Martin Vasilik just about in front. Smarslik coming hard around the outside. Holder's coming through in the second place. Here comes Fat and Smarslik. Smarslik now, winding it on high and wide. The other three riders electing to go slightly more narrow. Smarslik now finally gets through into second place, getting the better of Jack Holder. Oh my goodness. Smarslik on the back wheel, all out of shape. But you've got to say, Martin Vasilik flying away out in front. Two races in one here. Two boys out in front, former teammates in Gorzhov, of course, but Martin Vashley holding firm. Here comes one last chance here for Bartra Smarslik. Oh, putting all sorts of pressure on him. Try to intimidate him. But Martin Vashley, he wins his first two races this evening. Lambert hasn't had a race win, but he's looked good for my money. He has indeed. Heat number 10, tapes are up. Much better start this time from Dan Bewley on the inside. He fires himself to the front. Here comes Dudek. Now he's hustled that. That's a nice move from Dudek to get up the inside of Robert Lambert. Leon Madsen is at the back. Dudek electing to go wide. Robert Lambert now back up into second place. Can Dudek repay the compliment? No, there's no racing room. But out in front, this is more like it from Bewley. Change of equipment, working a treat. Dudek, unbeaten coming into this race, has slipped to the back, but for the first time, a little bit untidy in the last corner, Dan Bewley wins. He gets his uh, Grand Prix pretty much underway. After three outings, he moves on to four. Heat number 13. Fourth ride for these four on the start line. Here we go. Green lights on, takes up, smashes start on the inside from Kubera. He hits the front. Bewley's there alongside him, but Mickelson around the outside is a major threat. But Bewley has held firm down the back straight. But here comes Mickelson again, working very, very hard to get around the outside of him. All very tight on the inside there with Kubera and Bewley. Bewley is trapped. He's trapped on the inside. He goes to mid-track, but not sure that's going to provide the speed he requires because Mickelson is winding it on. Mickelson and Bewley locked together there. Bewley just about hanging on to second place. Yeah, Bewley almost trapped on the inside for the first couple of laps, but just like Smarslik immediately after the track break, now moving out wide, now going with the cutback. Oh, look at the straight line speed he's got. Brilliant move up the inside of Kubera. Mickelson, unfortunate from gate three, he'd done enough if it had been a couple of races later, I think he would have got round them both.
Dan Bewley once again turning on a style here in heat number 13. Here comes Kubera. Bewley's got it covered with one last blast through the final corner. One point from two rides. He's going to pick up six for the next two. Bewley back in business here. It's more like it. Fan favourite, of course. This is his home club in the Extra Liga in Poland. Second place at a minimum, you would suggest, for the world champion if he wants to make the semi-finals this evening. Hasn't been easy. Robert Lambert with three second places so far. Here we go. Number 15. What a start it is from Smarzy. He fires himself to the front. Here comes Lambert round the outside. Will he get the better of the world champion? Not quite. It's uh, Smarslik out in front, being chased hard by Robert Lambert back in second place. Here comes Lingren round the outside. Smarslik has trusted that inside line on the opening lap. But Freddie Lingren, high and wide. Lambert trying to close the door, but Lingren now back into second place. Oh, Lingren keeps it on, squeezes through the smallest of gaps as they come into turn three. He's sticking with the outside line. He's almost committed, stuck there now. And he's not able quite to reel in Smarzik. Smarzik, no confidence in the bike. Here comes Lingo, and he's going to have the speed this time. Looking for the comeback. This is going to get tight. Whoa! Lingren now just finds no way through. Smarzik having to ride with eyes in the back of his head here. Freddie Lingren on the march in second place. Smarzik just about hanging on out in front. And here comes Lingren again. One last chance. Round the outside in the final corner. In heat number 15. They roar to the line. Smarzlik hangs on. Again, he had to ride very, very hard there. Had to use all his skill there. Here we go then. Heat number 17. Big race in prospect, that's for sure. Three lights on, takes a ride. We're underway. Wozniak's made a half sensible start there. It's tight between himself and Holder. Holder goes wide. That allows um, uh, Patrick Dudek out of gate number three to come through in the second place. Holder electing to go wide. Freddy's out there as well. Tough from the outside. Here comes Holder. Holder there. The door is slammed shut by Wozniak. That allows Dudek up the inside. Dudek takes full advantage of that. What a ride from Patrick Dudek. Right place, right time. Yeah, another great ride from Dudek. Small mistake there, but he gets it back under control. Freddy Lingren high and wide. Stunning ride from Patrick Dudek here. Slipped up a couple of times after two very impressive wins early on, but the wild card, he's looking good out of gate number three. Nobody's won from gate three so far this evening. That's about to change here in heat number 17. Patrick Dudek doing the business from a place you couldn't win from. He just defies the odds there. This is a line up and a half. Yeah, it is. And to be sure, Bartos is going to need at least a point. He'll be looking for a win, that's for sure. Here we go, heat number 18, tapes are up very quickly indeed. It's a level break on the inside. Janowski has made it. He hits the front. Caberas comes through in the second place. Here comes Smarzik. Oh, what a move. Oh, there's drama there. Oh, oh. That's a big crash. Yeah, Kubera took the brunt of that, I think. Unfortunate. Uh, four doesn't go into one there. Yeah, miracles upon miracles, they're all on their feet. But uh, disappointment for Leon Madsen. Tried to take the opportunity, but uh, didn't quite pan out. Martin Vasilik will be a tough nut to crack, that's for sure. Home fans, of course, will be cheering on Janowski, that's for sure. Here we go. Semi-final number one, tapes are up, we're underway. Lambert's made a lovely start, but Vashlik just gets his nose in front. Around the first turn, it goes, Beauty! Beauty, what a first... Oh, Janowski's packed up. Desperate moment for the home crowd favourite. Here comes Bewley, just about hanging on in second place. Vashlik out in front. Lambert now electing to go high and wide. Will it work out for him? Down the back straight. Hasn't so far. Oh, here he comes up the inside. What a move from Lambert. Timed that perfectly off the fence. Got a lot of speed down that back straight. And now it looks like Bewley could go out. He's got work to do in third place. We've got a lap to go. Vashlik looking good. Bewley trying all he knows back in third place but it can't quite get there it's looking like that stunning move mid-race from robert lambert that's going to see him through to the final but martin vasilik best rider on show tonight he's through to the final he's been impeccable just slipped up once here we go semi-final number two takes her up brilliant start from gate three but it's tied into the first corner smarter where's he gone 
Where's he gone there? That's allowed. All sorts of shenanigans go there. Look at Mickelson out of gate three. Fars himself to the front. Smarslik, who went very wide in the first corner, relegated himself to the back. Mickelson oh, down in front. Up. Oh, Smarslik. Drama there. Dunex around the inside. Freddie Lingwin around the outside. Fabulous speedway once again. What a ride from Mickelson. He's come off the unfavoured gate three. We saw it in Lancet. Look Freddie. at Freddie Lingwin go around the outside. Caught Mickelson by surprise there and he jumped off his bike as he came past. Freddie Lingren. Wow, another fabulous night from him. Charging away out in front. Mickelson also rock solid in second place. Launching down the back straight on the final lap. Freddie Lingren and Mickelson, they're in the final. They join Martin Vasilik and Robert Lambert. And another stunning ride from Freddie Lingren. Really brave moves again. Here we go then, four laps to go. The final in Vlad's lap tonight. Green light is on, a oh, bit of movement from Lambert, he's missed the start. Martin Vasilik hasn't, he fires himself to the front. Mickelson's there, but he's run wide. Round the outside comes Freddie Lingren. Lambert's up in the second place, but Martin Vasilik would have a lovely start. Robert Lambert, got to believe he was feeling the nerves on the start line there with Freddie. Now coming through in the second place. Brilliant stuff from Martin Vasilik off the inside. Freddie working overtime again, charging round the outside. Disappointment for Robert Lambert back in third place. The wait for his maiden victory goes on. But it's a terrific night for Martin Vasilik. He wins his second Grand Prix of the season. And really and truthfully, he has been the man to beat. One blip tonight where he failed to score in his fourth ride. But Vasilik doesn't miss out when you give him the inside gate when it's working so well. He nails it.